What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Capricorns out there are doing well. So we're going to go on and get into this reading, guys. See what it is that you need to know. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, I am running a special right now on my love readings. So if you're interested in a love reading, they will only be $40, okay? So get in where you fit in, Capricorn. So let's get into it. So there is a relationship here that was built off of unrealistic expectations versus a solid foundation, okay? So this tells me two things. One, either you and someone else, or there was a connection here, that two people didn't really take the time to really get to know one another, right? So they didn't get a chance to build that firm, solid foundation. They didn't get to experience a friendship and bonding and really getting to know each other on a deeper level. So because this didn't happen, there was a relationship here that was built off of unrealistic expectations. Because they didn't build this firm foundation, you know, they expected this person to do this and to do that. But it was like, had they really known this person or got a chance to know this person for who they truly were, they would have realized that maybe this person was not the one who was going to be able to give them what they deserved, okay? We got a pretty Ricky on the hotline. So somebody could be calling you Capricorn or somebody has been calling you a lot that maybe they've been thinking about calling you here. Okay, and this could be somebody that got something important they need to get off their chest here. So maybe this person needs to reveal some type of truth. Or maybe they need to say something to you here. Okay, so somebody wants to be on your hotline. Somebody could be want to reach out. Maybe this person wants to call you. All right, this could happen in March. So maybe it's going to take this person a little while, you know, to get the strength or to get the courage to reach out and get, and, and get something off their chest. All right, for some of you. Somebody's negativity was blocking your money. So if some of you have experienced a money block or, you know, all of a sudden, you know, there was a, a kind of stop to your money or your creativity here. It could have been because of a negative energy that was surrounding you. OK, the 29th through the 31st could be significant. All right. Then we got a blessing in disguise. OK, so I feel like for some of you, there are some secrets that's about to be exposed here. All right, so somebody here either could want to tell you something or, you know, you're going to hear readings or you're very intuitive. You're going to pick up something. Something's going to be revealed to you. Now, this could be very hurtful. You know, this could be something that's going to hurt to hear, you know, some negative things or some, some bad things about your person. But it can be a blessing in, in disguise. It could have been a blessing that you needed to be able to walk away from a situation, okay? Because for some of you, what's being exposed is somebody here could have involved you in a love triangle. OK, there could have been a third party that was involved in this connection. Someone who could look, someone here could have had multiple lovers, but they had a choice here. Someone could have, someone here had a choice about who they want to be with. But I feel like somebody wants to have a cake and eat it, too. So they could have been dealing with you and someone else on the side. What's being exposed is somebody could be crying over you, Capricorn. Someone could be very sad that maybe you guys are separated or no longer together. They can be hurt. They can be upset. So this could be feelings that maybe this person hasn't expressed to you. And this could be something they want to get off their chest. They want to let you know maybe they're sad about you being in a separation or you guys not being together. And this could be something, maybe this is someone who really don't, you know, express their feelings and emotions. So this could be like a first time, you know, that you're hearing this person be in this type of energy here. All right. So what can be exposed to you is somebody could be looking you up online. So somebody could be researching you. They're trying to study you. So this gives me the energy of maybe a monitoring spirit. Or this could be someone that's maybe like trying to study like your personality and who you are. So they'll know maybe how to approach you or this situation. Or someone could be getting information. It's kind of seemed negative to me. So I feel like someone who could just be trying to look you up online and get more information. For some of you, this could be some karmic friends. What's being exposed to some of you got some karmic friends in your energy. Okay, these are people that you can't really trust. 
There's already been some tension between you and these people. So to know that they really don't have your best interest at heart shouldn't be a surprise to you, okay? You're being warned to keep your close, keep your keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Because a lot of you guys, these, these people are not your friends, they're more of your enemy. These are people who don't want to see you happy or what's being exposed is maybe you're dealing with someone or there's someone in your energy. They won't, don't want to see you happy with another connection, okay? Maybe some of you have moved on, you're dealing with somebody else, and it's like you're trying to make that situation work, but there's somebody lurking in the background. You know, they don't want to see you move on. They don't want to see you be happy with anyone else. Okay, what's being exposed is that some of you guys have been blocking negativity. So maybe you've been uh, doing your return to sender here. You know, you've been escaping crazy people, but you are protected by haters, okay? People that hate on you, people that don't want the best for you, have ill intentions, your energy, you're blocking them. Whatever you're doing, you're blocking these people, you're dodging these these type of energies. And what's being exposed is that someone here may have want to steal from you. Maybe they want to rob you of physical and emotional happiness here. Look at this. Somebody was a happiness hater. They don't want to see you happy. Someone always wants to cause you hurt and pain. Maybe they want to see you hurt, like physically hurt. They could have robbed from you. Or they want to have, they want you to experience a lot of losses in your life. Always be sad. Always be down. Never be happy. Never feel joy and happiness in your life because they were happy. You could have been dealing with someone who was miserable, okay? A miserable, a miserable ass Betty or, or Billy, okay? Someone here who never wants to see you happy. Live your life, move on, you know, be successful. They never wanted that. These could have been people that were sending energy towards you, you know, trying to block any happiness, anything coming your way. So let's see when these secrets can be exposed. Because for some of you, there's about to be some secrets that's being exposed here, okay? Messages for Capricorn. Let's see if we can get a time. Ooh, for some of you, this is going to happen within the next few days. There's going to be some secrets exposed to you, okay? And these can be about family, friends, or a particular ex-lover in your energy here, okay? So let's roll and let's see who this reading is about. Let's go to the who did before we do that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. Okay, comment if you want to. Subscribe to my channel. Remember, my readings are only going to be $40, so if you're interested in a love reading make sure that you look up my email in the description box and hit me up okay messages for capricorn who is this reading about so this can be a description of you guys or this can be a description of your person you kind of just have to take it how it resonate here okay so who is this about this could be about someone who has curves or a nice body okay this could be about a younger male so this can be about someone that's younger than you, or you can be this younger male. Who is this about? Someone who wears a necklace or chain. And this could be about someone who has a mole or moles. So let's get the signs. And let's see who this reading is about for my Capricorns. I love you, Capricorn. All right, so we got Heavy Gemini, Leo, Cancer. We got Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. And we also have Scorpio, Capricorn, Sag, and Virgo. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.